Hi guys, how are you tonight? Hi, Mr. Dequa. How morning. are you Good evening. Tonight? How are you doing? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight, guys? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Okay, very good. How was your day today? Very tired, stressful. Very tired and stressful. Why is that? Can because um, I'm preparing the new year. Ah, it's cool. Okay, I understand. Okay, very good. Now, uh, don't worry about it. Today, we're going to have a nice class, okay? okay. A, very, a very nice class. Okay, I hope. Yes. So, yes, don't worry about it. Okay? Okay. What about you? I have been very busy today, especially this day. Okay? But, unfortunately, fortunately, we are about finishing this day today. Okay? So, there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Just a minute, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so only three of us. Okay, we are going to start right now. Okay, good evening, Nestor. How are you tonight? <clears throat> Can you turn on your microphone, please? Hi, teacher. I'm very tired. <clears throat> very tired. Don't worry. Okay, you are going to relax in this class, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, uh, what what are we going to do today? Okay, we are going to, okay, we are going to work on, on page 40. Did you download the book? Yes. Okay, yes, so if you downloaded the book, that is on page 45, okay? Pronunciation. Our book or a student book? Uh, the student book. Okay. So that is page 45, the student book. So that is pronunciation, syllable, syllable stress, okay? And I want you to go and... Page 46, exercise six, listening, offline, and prop. Page 45, exercise four. Okay, so I got I I have the listening ready, okay, about the syllable stress. Okay, so here we go. Now listen carefully and notice where the stress is on each uh, column of words. For example, in number one, the stress is on the first syllable. On number two, the stress is on the second, second. syllable. And on the third column, the stress is on the third syllable. Okay, so listen carefully, please. For pronunciation, syllable stress, part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite, internet, photograph, invention, assignment. Computer. Okay, was that clear? Hello, guys. Was that clear? Oh, let me see.
Okay, I have a technical problem right now. Let me fix it in a minute, okay? Okay, guys, we are on page 46 and we are listening to the stress on this. Okay. Page 45, exercise four, pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Okay, was that clear? Yes, it's clear. It's clear, okay, very good. Now, let's check it out, okay? Repeat after me, please, okay? Let me see, where are we? Right here, okay. Repeat after me, satellite. 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 Internet. Internet. Photograph. Internet. Photograph. Photograph. Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 CD-ROM. Engineer. Engineer. Entertain. Entertain. Okay, again, satellite. 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 Internet. 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 Photograph. 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 Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 CD-ROM. CD CD Engineer. Engineer. Entertain. 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 Okay, very good. Now, continue listening to the and tell me which Okay, in what syllable is the stress in these words? Okay, are you ready? Here we yeah. go. Listen. Yes, I do. Page 45, exercise four. Okay, so we'll put it on our Okay, so languages, where is the stress? In the first syllable. In the first syllable. In the first syllable, so it goes right here. Very good. Understand, where is the stress? In the second. In the, in the second In the syllable. second one, so it goes in this column. And telephone, where is the stress? The first. No, is on the third, telephone. Telephone. Telephone, Telephone. Yeah. Third. Right? is third. on the third. Now, when I say transmission, where is the stress? Transmission. The second syllable. No, it's on the first one. Transmission. Transmission. Mission, right? So it's on the In first the... stress. When I say robotics, where is the stress? In the second syllable. Yeah. In the second syllable, that is correct. And when I say VCR, where is the syllable? Where is the stress? The first. The first. On the third, VCR. Right? VCR is on okay. the third column. Okay, very good. Now, let's move on. Okay, now, the world of computers. So take a look, please. Okay, here we have Repeat after me. Browse websites. Browse websites. Everybody Browse repeat after websites. me. Browse websites. Browse websites. Browse websites. Browse Hot websites. and paste. Hot, Hot and, and paste. paste. This drive. This drive. Double click. Double click. Double click. Drag and drop. 
Drop. Drop. Drop. Drop. Drop. Drop. Drop. Geek. 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 Hacker. 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 Highlight text. Highlight text. text. Keyboard. 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 Monitor. 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 Mouse. Mouse. Play games. Play games. Scan photographs. Scan photographs. Scan photographs. Scan. Scan. Scan photographs. Scan. Scan photographs. Surf the net. Surf the net. net. Technophile. 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 Please. Please. Okay, questions about vocabulary, please. Questions about vocabulary. What is the meaning technophile? Technophile, a person that is interested in technology, in especially technology, computer technology. More okay. questions. What means geek? Geek is a person that he likes, that he wants to be in the world of computers. Okay? So that's a geek. I can listen well. I know. Okay. So, uh, uh, Wiz is a person that is, uh, that has high skills or high knowledge in the computer or technology. He has high skills or high knowledge of computer technology. Is that clear? It's clear. Okay, more questions? No. No more. Okay, now, can you tell me who are the people who are into computers from all this vocabulary? The hackers. The hacker. Okay, who else? Hacker. Yeah. Very good. Who else? Who, from this vocabulary, who are people that are in the computer? Geek. Uh, Geek, very good. Geek. Technophile. Technophile, very good. And? Yeah. Well, that's one. With. With. And with. Okay, very good. Those are the people that are into. That are into uh, computers. Now, what are the people, the types of computer hardware? What are the types of computer hardware from this vocabulary? What is the hardware? Hardware is. Okay, remember, like this, all this that you see in the computer. I the need hardware. the keyboard. Okay, this drive? keyboard. What else? This drive. This drive, what else? Scan photograph. Surf the what? net. The scan photograph, no. Monitor. Monitor is mouse. part of the hardware. What else? I like the mouse. And the mouse. Okay, are the types of computer hardware. Okay, now the next one. What are the Fun things to do with a computer. Play games. Draw and draw. Surf the net. Okay, browse websites browse is already websites. there, right? So you mm -hmm. said what? Surf the net. Okay, very good. Surf what else? Play games. Play games. What else? Scan photographs. 
A scan Draw. photograph. Oh, okay, photograph. Very good. Nice now, what are the things to do with a mouse? Cut and paste. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. Cut and paste. Double click. Double click. What else? Draw and drop. Drag and drop. And, drop. and, and highlight text. Highlight, highlight text. Highlight text. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, here. Discuss how computers have changed our lives. Okay, I want you to tell me. Ask and answer questions like this. How do computers, how do computers make your life easier? Can you tell me? How do computers make your life easier? Hello, I'm listening. Hello. How do computers make your life easier? Um, making report more okay. fast. You, okay, you can make reports fast. Very good. What else? How um, can computers make your life easier? Okay, what else? We can surf the internet and find information. Uh -huh. We can find information easily. What else? We can uh, uh, connect in real time. Okay, we can connect with, uh, with people in real time. Very good. What else? What else can we do? What about send and receive information? Send and receive information, right? Now, how do computers make our life more difficult? How can computers make our life more difficult? If you don't know how to use the computer. Uh-huh. If you don't know how to use a computer, what else? Hello, everybody. Participate. How do computers uh, make your life more difficult? We don't have um, connection to internet. Okay, probably when you don't have connection with internet. What about spending too much time on the computer, right? Not taking care of your family because you are spending time on the computer. How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? Can you tell me? How do computers affect the way you spend your free time? Oh. Hello? Nope. Don't have idea. Ah, so now, okay, for example, do you have do you have free time? Do you have free time? When you have free time, how can a computer affect your time? Your free time. Okay, because instead of doing something, you are working on the computer or you are surfing on the internet, or you are sending and receiving email, while you could be playing a sport, uh, going to the beach or to a mountain, uh, spending time with your family. How do computers influence the kinds of jobs people have? <laughs> How do computers influence the kind of jobs people have? 
Do you use a computer? So, many jobs um, need to use the computer all the time. Okay, and if you it's don't more have... To, we need more technology every time. And if you don't, if you don't know how to use the guitar, the guitar, the computer, you, you are not able to get the job, right? You are not able to get the job. What kind of problems do computer cause? What kind of problems do computer cause? Stress. A stress, what else? So many healthy problems. Many health problems, okay? For example, sight. Your yes. vision, your vision might be affected. Your sight might be affected. Some people have problems in their elbows because the use of the mouth, right? Yes. Okay, do you know anyone who is a computer whiz? No, teacher. No? No, I don't know. Oh, no, really? Like young children, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, they are computer wizards. They can do many things with the computer and the cell phone that we can't do, right? So they are computer wizards. Okay, are hackers a problem where you live? Oh, I know. No. No, not really. No, not really, right? Okay, very good. Now, how many, you know, what percentage of the people do you think are, don't want to have internet access? Guess the answers to these questions below, the, below and then listen to a radio program about the internet and check your answers. What percentage of the population never uses the internet? What is your percentage? Here, guess. Remember? Guess. So let me see. Uh, Janet, what percentage of the population do you think don't use the internet? Maybe 5%. 5%. Marielos, what percentage of the population don't use the internet? 30%. Uh, How much? 30. 30%. Carlos, what is your guess? How much of the population don't use the internet? Nowadays, I think uh, uh, maybe 20, 20%. 20%. Nestor. How much of the population, what percentage of the population don't use the internet? I think the 15%. 15%. Kenya, how much, uh, what percentage of the population don't use the internet? I think that's at 10%. 10%. Lester, what percentage of the internet don't use, what percentage of the population don't use the internet? Uh, I think uh, 20%. 20%. Vladimir, what percentage of the population do you think don't use the internet? Uh, I guess uh, 15%. How much? 15%. 15%. Tell me, what percentage of the population do you think don't use the internet? I think 15%. 15%. Okay, Vanessa, what percentage of the population do you think don't use the internet? I think 0%. 0%? Really? Yes. Yes, I think. <laughs> okay, no problem. Now, look, I'm going to share my screen, okay? So listen carefully to this, please. Okay? Hold on. Let me see here. Okay, I have to move this. Okay, here we go. Page 46. Exercise 
exercise six, listening, offline, and proud. Part A, guess the answers to the questions below. Then listen to a radio program about the internet and check your answers. Page 46. Exercise program about the internet and check your answers. We've all heard stories about how internet use is growing. Today, however, we're talking with someone who has studied people who don't use the internet. Let's welcome Dr. Tom Van Cleve to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thanks for coming. Now, I understand that many people still don't use the internet. Is that right? What can you tell us? That's right. My research has revealed that about 42% of the population never uses the internet. 42%? That's pretty high. And why is that? Well, they tend to be older people or people living in more rural areas. But there are also those who are worried about privacy or who think that the Internet isn't necessary in their life. Some of these people are even proud to be independent from the online world. Interesting. Okay, so what is the percentage? 46. 42. 42%. Okay, 42%. 42. Now, why, why are is 42% of the population don't want to use the internet? Why? Because they are all people. Okay, because, because they are all people. Now, people. what else? Remember, what kinds of people area. don't use the internet? So, all people. Number two? For the area. Area. Uh -huh. People living in rural areas, okay? Area. And what else? You don't remember? Listen. They don't consider the internet well, was, was important. In more rural areas, but there are also those who are worried about privacy or who think that the internet isn't necessary in their life. Some of these people are even proud to be independent from the online world. Interesting. Okay, so what other people? People think that it's unnecessary. It is unnecessary. Or people that want privacy. Okay? They don't want to be known on the internet. So they want privacy. So they believe that that is unnecessary. Now, very good. So take a look over here. Now, listen to the rest of the program, then answer this question. Okay. What does the term net evaders mean? What are internet dropouts? And why do some people become internet dropouts? Are you ready? Here we go. Listen. Page 46. Exercise 6. Part B. Listen to the rest of the program, then answer these questions. In your new book, you mention net evaders. Can you explain what you mean by this? Well, lots of people live with someone who surfs the net, but they still don't log on themselves. I call this group the net evaders. What I found in talking to these people is that they sometimes ask a family member to send emails for them or to browse websites, but they don't want to do it themselves. <laughs> I know someone like that. <laughs> Yes, and then there's another group of people I call internet dropouts. Internet dropouts? What exactly does it mean? It refers to people who once used the internet, but have stopped using it for some reason. They may not have a computer anymore, may not have enough time, or simply may not be interested. I see. Well, thanks very much for sharing that information with us, Dr. Van Cleef. Okay, was that clear then? Was that clear? What does the term net evaders mean? Who can tell me? 
or you want me to play it again? Please. Okay, Please. here we go. Please. Page 46, exercise six, part B. Listen to the rest of the program, then answer these questions. In your new book, you mention net evaders. Can you explain what you mean by this? Well, lots of people live with someone who surfs the net, but they still don't log on themselves. I call this group the net evaders. What I found in talking to these people is that they sometimes ask a family member to send emails for them or to browse websites, but they don't want to do it themselves. <laughs> I know someone like that. <laughs> yes, and then there's another group of people I call internet dropouts. Internet dropouts? What exactly does it mean? It refers to people who once used the internet, but have stopped using it for some reason. They may not have a computer anymore, may not have enough time, or simply may not be interested. I see. Well, thanks very much for sharing that information with us, Dr. Van Cleef. Okay, guys. So, now, what are... 46. Exercise 6. Listening. Okay, what are net evaders? What does that term mean? People who don't want to uh, do simple tasks like send emails and uh, um, let the, their family do it for uh -huh. them. Let somebody else do it for them because they don't want to use or they don't want to log in right and use their uh passwords and all that okay now what are internet dropouts people that leave the computer or, or people that used to work with computers in the internet but they don't do it anymore. Now, why? Why do some people become internet dropouts? Because don't have time. Because don't have time, because they don't have a computer anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. Or simply, they are not interested. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. So let's move on. Okay, now. Here is this conversation, okay? That I want you to listen to, okay? Listen to this conversation and then ask me questions about the vocabulary, okay? Here we go. Page 47, exercise seven, conversation. Can I borrow your phone? Part A, listen and practice. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. Hi, this is Joe Jones. You're right. It's a recording. Sorry, right Make sure now. to hit the end button, or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Okay. Page 47. Exercise 7. Part. Okay. Was that clear, then? It's clear. It was clear. Okay. Very good. Can can you see what can you see the uh, the conversation on the screen? Yes, I can. Okay, now I want you to take a picture yes. of it. Please take a picture of the of the conversation because you are going to role play it. Okay? Okay. So take a picture. If you already downloaded the book, this is on on page 47 so you don't need to take a picture but if you don't mm -hmm. have the book uh, go ahead take a picture 
Did you take a picture, everybody? Yes. 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 Okay. Now. Sure. Right. I have a file. Hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Everybody, turn on your microphone, please. <laughs> turn on your microphones, please. Lester, Delmi, Marielos, turn on your microphones, please. Okay, now, repeat after me. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Can I borrow can I your phone to call my, my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. I can't believe you, I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Thanks. Thanks. Now, what do I need, I need to, do? to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. First, First of all, all, be sure to turn, turn it on, on. And don't, and forget don't forget to dial the area, area code. code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. Okay, That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Oh, good, it's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You're right, it's a recording. You're right. right. Make sure to hit the end button or else you'll leave our conversation on his voicemail. Make sure to this voicemail. Okay, again, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Can I, can I borrow your phone to call my boss? I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. I can believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? Thanks. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. First of all, be sure to turn it on and don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. Oh, good, it's ringing. Oh, good, it's ringing. It's ringing. Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get this voicemail. Try not to get too excited. Probably get this voicemail. You're right, it's a recording. You're right. You're right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button, or else you leave your conversation on his voicemail. Make sure. Make sure. sure the end button, yeah. or else you leave your conversation Okay. Very good, guys. Now I'm gonna break you into groups so you can. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna make five groups, okay? Okay. Five groups, I'll let you know. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Carlos Marroquin and Marielos, room number one. Delmi and Luis, room number two. Kenya and Lester, room number three. Nestor and Vladimir, room number four. Janet and Vanessa, room number five. So go ahead and get okay. into your room, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, tell me. Go ahead, Luis. Kenya, Lester, Janet, Vanessa, Lester, Janet, room number five, Janet. Okay, very good. Lester, room number three. Lester, room number three. Lester, turn on your microphone, please. 
Hello, Lester. Lester, are you there? Lester, are you there? Okay. You are Jenny and I am Richard, for example. Okay. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? Uh, I can't believe you. You still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First, first of all, be sure to turn it out. And don't forget to dial the area code. Okay, I can see the number, but I can't hear anything. That's because you haven't pressed the call button. button. Oh, good. Is ringing? Try not to get too excited. You'll probably get his voicemail. You are right. It's a recording. Make sure to hit the end button or else you all have our conversation on his voicemail. Okay, very good, guys. Excellent. So now I change, change roles. Switch roles. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I can borrow your, I can borrow your phone to call my boss. I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now. <laughs> ah, yeah. ah, bueno, démosle. Este, no sé si, bueno, comenzamos de nuevo. No, yo lo voy a hacer de lleno, no te preocupes. Okay. Can I borrow your phone to call my boss? <clears throat> I can't believe you still don't have a cell phone. Here you go. Thanks. Now, what do I need to do? First of all, be sure to turn it on. Okay, very good, guys. Excellent practice. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, nine. Who is missing? One is missing. Okay, now. Let me share what is next for you, okay? Now here, we have the grammar imperatives and infinitives for given suggestions. So imperatives are orders, are commands, okay? Are instructions, Okay, and they always begin with the verb, with the base form in the, of the verb in the affirmatives and don't with the negatives, okay? For example, be sure, you see, that is the imperative and the infinitive. Be sure to turn, to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. Is that clear? 
Okay, so yes. imperatives with infinitives for given suggestions. Now look at the look at these suggestions in which ones refer to an alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop computer. Okay, so take a picture, take a picture, and you think which one goes for alarm system. For example, try to keep it close to protect the screen. What is that suggestion for? For an alarm system, for a cell phone, or for a laptop computer? For a laptop computer? Laptop, so you're gonna put here laptop computer. Okay, take a picture and read them and tell me, okay, and put what or, or say yes. on which, uh, which of these uh, uh, gadgets goes for, okay? Do you take a picture? Yes. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, for example, don't forget to write down your secret code. So is that for alarm system? Alarm site, alarm system. Alarm system. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm system. Alarm, alarm system. System. Try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Cell phone? Cell phone or laptop computer? Lap, laptop computer. Laptop computer. Laptop computer. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. Oh. Alarm system. Alarm, Alarm system. system. That is correct. Yeah. Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. A cell phone or a laptop cell, computer? Cell phone. Yes, yeah, cell phone and laptop computer. Laptop or laptop. computer right? Be sure to turn it off before bed or call. Or a call may wake you up. Cell phone. The cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. Now, I want you to in this. Ah, and can you see in the conversation? In the conversation, we use the uh, imperatives with infinitives. Look over here. Be sure to turn it on, right? And don't forget to dial the area code. Now, try not to get too excited. And make sure to hit the end button. button or else you leave. So we use these infinitives with imperatives with infinitives. Okay. So, okay. Now I want you that you make imperative sentences with, with infinitives. Okay. Here, make sure what? Take turns giving suggestions for using these items, okay, in part A. For example, what do we have to make sure to do in a computer? To save the information? No, no, but oh, complete, the, the... complete, make sure. Make, make sure, sure to save the, the document or the report. Make sure to save the document or the report, uh-huh. Be sure not to be sure not to delete the the exam. Okay. I'm gonna put you in pairs so you can take a picture. Do you did you take a picture of this? Make sure, yes. be sure not to try, try not to remember to and don't forget to. I'm going to put you in pairs so you can so you can okay. tell each other okay about okay. what you have to do okay here we go okay okay so carlos and marielos go to room number 1 
Delmi and Luis Diaz, room number two. Kenya and Lester, room number three. Nestor and Vladimir. Ah, that was the same, right? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go to the rooms, please. Room number five, Janet. Vanessa, room number five. Nestor and Vladimir, room number four. Kenya and Lester, room number three. Delmi, okay, very good. Vanessa, room number five, please. Okay, everybody's in. Okay, very good.
Okay, guys, how are you? Hi, Hello. Hi, okay, very good. Were you able to practice? Yes. Okay, I just want to share with you some things that you have to do, okay? Okay, uh, let me... Let me get to this, okay? Okay, guys, so can you see the screen? Yes. Yes, yes. sir. Okay, now, yes. you remember that yesterday we did the neighbor versus neighbor reading. Yes. So you are able to do knowledge check 1.4, Knowledge check 1.9, the reading exercise 1.11, and then you can come to do knowledge check that we also did it yesterday with infinitives and Jerome's. And now you can do a imperatives and infinitives knowledge check 2.9. So tomorrow we are going to do this, the reading, a day in your life, and we finish section number two. Because tomorrow and Friday, we are going to work on section number three. So you can do the midterm on the weekend. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. yes. Okay. So please go ahead and work on your knowledge check on the platform. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Have a wonderful night and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you, okay, tomorrow. See, you See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, class. Thank okay, you. very sure good. You bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. You too. Have a good bye. night. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye.